one at National 2015. Grand Valley up 2 0 with 1051 left in the first half. John, what have you thought of this game so far? Yeah, you know what? So that last point uh, was a little. Uh, Grand Valley took it down a little quicker, like you would expect Grand Valley to do. Um, uh, that last game, just, I mean, GVSU, their depth just took them down too quick, too soon. Uh, there's, like I said, it's, there's, it's so hard, you know, when you're, like, that good. Like, when you're that good. Like, if you, if you imagine, like, you know, a 40-game season is what? Like, it's it's just, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like, it's... To play 40 games, the college dodgeball well, team is in incredible. A year, it's unbelievable. And to only lose one, you know, it's so hard. And like I just said, like, you know, they're Grand Valley, you know, Kevin Bailey, their captain, their best player, best player in the league, in my opinion, you know, went out the second point because it's a learning. It's going to be a good learning experience for the kids, um, you know, for the kids that are, like, just under that starting 15 that yeah. next year when some of the seniors graduate that get to take a step up. And uh, But, no, like I said, I've seen some good things for UWP, and I like seeing UWP a little bit more aggressive on the start here. Uh, except they just threw three of their balls away. I think what happened there was we had a um, first run with the first kill by Grand Valley. All right, we had a we had a false start. I think on that last opening rush, so they reset, and UWP a little upset because uh, they, there might have been a false start again. Was it Jalen Gardner with a kill for Grand Valley? There, really nice, low, like right below the knees, exactly where you want it. Here comes UWP on the attack. Miss there. 24 just running for his life. Yeah, it's running for his life. I can relate, my friends. Oh! Hey, that's a team catch. Team that's catch, team, team catch. Bring brings back back in. back in one of UWP's players. Yeah, that throw was by Aaron Terenzi. This throw. Gets him not looking. Who was that? 30 Tyler Alcantara. Tyler Alcantara goes out. For, uh, he should go out. He should go out. Or someone, or that kid went out. I'm sorry. I think that was to The right kid went out, but someone went out. And, and then at 44 gets hit on the hand for Grand down. Valley. Who's 44, Alex? Tyler Alcantara. Tyler Alcantara goes out. For Alcantara Grand goes out for Grand Valley. And it looks like UWP only has Good the block. one player out right now. Good block by 63 Brooklyn side, it looks like. That was a trap there. Uh, oh, and, and then Kevin 24. Bailey just being Kevin Bailey taking out number 24. 24 Dalton Derp Derpstra? Let me see. Terpstra? Yeah, Ter Terpstra. Terpstra looks right. Got him right there on the hand. Watch, uh, watch the young down here, number five for Grand Valley. He's sticking on that left line. The young. That's the young. Yeah, you know, through enough games, players, especially when you play as many as Grand Valley, you get the feel of what side of the court you're comfortable with. Yeah. Everyone's got their own. You naturally gravitate opinion. toward one side or the other. Exactly. I feel like. Exactly. Nice block there by number three. Kevin Bailey launches the ball into the other court. And it looks like UWP only has three in their no, I possession. Think it's two. I think that kid's in. No, we get the balls in. Oh, okay. That's the ball. And number three with an attempt at a diving catch. That's a catch. That's a catch off 63 for Grand Valley. 63 goes goal down. Goal. Yeah. yeah. Joel Brodinski goes out for Grand Valley. 62 goes out there. Uh, Ford just took the bullet for their best All player. The That's and a another nice catch. good catch. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, UWP with some life. There's another out, I think. Yeah, number 10. Number 10. Spears going Spears out. Spears goes out. Grand Valley a little bit shaken right now. Yeah. 721 left. And 27, like I said, Drew Van Aston, he's one of probably their best arm, has been leading this charge for UWP. And I'm telling you something, if I'm UWP, oh, it's a great block. It's a really great block coming around. Trying to get his number just through that blue ball. It's 89. Yeah, it was Brandon Chappell coming around with a great block for uh, UWP. Really, really nice. 
And I'm telling you, like I said, if I was the captain of UWP, you got absolutely nothing to lose. Absolutely, you go for it. Going out, and there goes out 27. Uh, there goes Van Assen now. It's a that's, big loss. That's a big loss, him. yeah. But they still I'm have sorry, Higby. Van yeah. Assen's like the blocker. He's like the scrappy unsung hero. Oh, and, and an amazing catch there by 34. 34. By Gardner. Gardner. Gardner, 34. Great, great catch. Great catch. Takes out Higby. That's a big swing right there yep. in favor of Grand Valley. What Grand Valley has always done so well is play well in isolation by themselves and also play well when their backs are against the wall. They never panic. Nope. You will never see a Grand Valley team panic when they get a little bit down like this. The missed throw by Trevor Norberg right there, 36. Look at their great communication. I think that 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 I